It's an early Christmas present. A Christmas present? That's right. For who? For you. <gasps> Get out of here! <laughs> Say you got a big job interview and you're a little nervous? Well, throw back a couple of shots of Hennigan's and you'll be as loose as a goose and ready to roll in no time. And because it's odorless, why, it'll be our little secret. <laughs> A.T. Double N. Kramer. Yeah, that'll do. <gasps> oh, oh, George, this is beautiful. Is this mm. cashmere? Of course it's cashmere. Hey. Oh, I love cashmere. <laughs> Who doesn't? God, George, this must have cost a Ah, money. Oh, God, Jerry, how could you let him spend so much money? I tried to stop him. <laughs> I couldn't. He just wants to make people happy. Yeah, George, this is one of the nicest things anyone has ever given me. Ah, good, good. Listen, take it off, you know. You're gonna wear it out already. It's for special occasions, this thing. <laughs> What's that red dot on your sweater? <laughs> Listen, take it off. Yeah, I'm getting hot just looking at it. Oh, <laughs> what is this? It's like a red dot. What? What red dot? What are you, what are you talking about? Jerry, come here for a second. Do, do you see anything here? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. What don't you know? I don't know. Well, do you see it or don't you? <clears throat> Uh, say that again? Do you see it or don't you? Do I see it or don't I? That's the question. <laughs> now, what did you ask me again? <laughs> Yeah, it's George. Come on up. Hey, let me ask you something. Did George buy that sweater knowing the red dot was on it because it was cheaper? Okay, you just gave me the answer. No, I didn't! <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I saw your expression. I didn't have an expression. I have a deviated septum. I have to... <laughs> I have to open my mouth sometimes to breathe. Uh-huh. How much did he save? Frankly, I am shocked that you could ask such a question of me that you would think if I was the only surprise was how you could even think of that. That's what you were seeing. I have to talk to you. This cleaning woman's turning the screws on me. She, she, she's pushing for this whole relationship thing. She keeps calling me. She's threatening to go to the boss and tell him everything. I could lose my job. I, I, I got to do something to keep her quiet. Elaine's in the bathroom. She's wise to the whole red dot thing. She's asking me all kinds of questions. About it. <laughs> Did you tell her anything? No. You swear? I'm not swearing. I don't want to swear. Come on, I swear. No. Oh, you told her, didn't you? Hey, George. <laughs> Did you buy that sweater knowing the red dot was on it because you could get it at a discount? What? <laughs> did I what? You did, didn't you? Elaine, I'm, I'm shocked. I, I'm shocked. Here I go out in the spirit of the season and spend all my savings to buy you the most beautiful Christmas sweater I have ever seen to show my appreciation to you at Christmas, and this is the thanks I get at Christmas. <laughs> Well, Jerry told me that you did. You told her? How could you tell her? I just squealed on me. What kind of friend are you? I didn't tell you, stupid idiot. She tricked you. <laughs> Elaine, you don't understand. I had 103 temperature when I bought that sweater. <laughs> I was so dizzy, I was seeing red dots everywhere. I, I thought everything in the store had a red dot on it. I, I couldn't distinguish one red dot from the other. <laughs> I couldn't afford anything. I have nothing. I, I haven't worked for a really long time. I, I, I mean, look, I, I have no clothes. Look at what I'm wearing. It was just a little red dot. A little red dot. It was, 